Japan. The atom bomb has left a scarred earth. The survivor... Japan has been disarmed. Emperor Hirohito's imperial army is home in defeat. Japan's war leaders are on trial. They were the masters of treachery, from Manchuria to Pearl Harbor. Araki, Hashimoto, Matsui, Sato, Itagaki, Tojo. But these men are no longer the rulers of Japan. Men who fought to overthrow their reign of terror now direct the lives and destinies of Japan's 73 million. Allied policy is laid down in Washington by the Far Eastern Commission and carried out by the Supreme Commander for the Allied Powers. The Allied Council sits in Tokyo with members of the United States, Russia, President McMahon Ball represents... Allied judges decide the fate of Japan's war leaders but the people these leaders misled are already paying the penalty. There is hunger in Japan. The ranks of the unemployed are swollen by the return of Japan's repatriated army. Food is the daily need, and in this war against hunger, the fisherman is fighting the battle of his people. Seaweed will help fill empty bellies, but not enough seaweed and fish reach the cities to stave off the nation's hunger. The black market thrives on destitution, and the poor sell the clothes they will need in winter to buy enough food to keep alive. Inflation grips Japan, but the black marketeer waxes fat. Money has little value with billions of paper yen adrift. There are those who have no yen, those who have no hope. Those who have black market yen or personal possessions to exchange for black market food crowd the railway stations waiting for trains that will take them to the country. peasant has learnt from his masters the trick of growing crops not for food, but for speculation. He meets the government demand for grain with peasant cunning, selling his harvest furtively at extortionate prices to those who come seeking food from the cities. cannot pay the black market price. But under Allied guidance, the gradual rebirth of Japan is taking place. On the earth of Hiroshima, buildings are going up. Life 
this creeping back over Earth seared by the atom bomb. For out of the soil of Hiroshima, crops are growing as they've never grown before. The Allied powers have stripped the landowners and given the Earth back to the peasants. Now the women work with a new heart, believing that the roots of democracy have been sown in Japanese soil. Women who helped to carry the burden of war now bend their backs to the work of reconstruction. Amid the ruins of defeat, Japan's women find the flicker of hope. The Allied powers have given the people a free choice of government. And in this first step towards democracy, women were among those elected to the House of Representatives. And now, with equal education according to ability, Tokyo Imperial University has admitted women students. Although Japan has a new constitution, the people themselves must learn the meaning of democracy. To help their own people, a group of American-born Japanese are operating a shortwave radio news service. This is Radio Australia calling. Here is the news read by John Wilson. Today, Japanese radio and press are bringing news of a free world to the news-hungry people of Japan. Within the framework of Allied policy, Japan must work out her own problems. Quick to exercise their new freedom, the people are demanding reforms in the government. But they are meeting the skilled resistance of the old men of Japan, who are determined to retain what they can of their privileges. <laughs> Pent up feelings are released after years of suppression as the Japanese find new liberties under Allied rule. Japan are on the march, but the world is asking, where is Japan going? The answer lies with the Allied nations who combined in the overthrow of Japan. Their policy will not merely determine the future of 73 million Japanese, but will influence the destiny of the thousand million people of the Pacific. <laughs> 